Hello, welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. In this video, I'll be doing another battery build. Let's scratch today's battery build. As you will probably saw in the past couple of videos, or in the previous battery building video, I'm starting to build batteries. If you are interested in buying these battery pack for your RC car, your project, or other stuff, I'll leave a link down below for my websites so that you can get these batteries for yourself. Let's get to building this battery pack. So I will be making a 3S1P battery pack. I will also be using this BMS for managing the batteries, balance charging, and discharge. Let's go ahead and start this build. Okay, so here are all the things that I will be needing to build this battery pack. And some wires. So I just 3D printed these out in PTG. I'll be putting the batteries on here for security and making the battery look really good. There we go. Now putting the top cover on, it snap fit very nicely. Okay, all the labels are out, which is nice. Okay, we need a nickel strip. Okay, I'll be cutting this nickel strip and then I'm gonna be putting on the battery. I'll be needing another piece. Okay, so let's get all the nickel strip cut and be ready for spot welding. For the connection, I'll be using this H pattern nickel strip. Uh, I need a new set of pliers. The other day I used this thing to cut a stainless steel rod and look at that it's all chewed up and it keeps getting stuck like that you could use both hands to open it so for this it'll be a little bit different i'm gonna be soldering this right directly to the bms like this i need to make somewhat of a shape of an l like this it's gonna be spot welding right here there we go this time this machine is not giving off sparks which is nice I would say that's a pretty nice spot. Well, we'll be doing the same thing for the bottom side. Okay, my cursor is back. Okay, doing this one now. And the last one. There we go. Got it all set up. I'm going to be using this capped on tape and tape the middle. Next, I'll be using some nano tape to the BMS. There we go. Let's put this thing in. Press it down. All we need to do is just solder these in. Okay, while the soldering tool is heating up, I'll be taping off the top and the bottom with this smaller capped on tape. There we go. So there's no accident at all. Okay, now let's get some solder into the BMS. Let's do the B minus first. We got all four corners done. And I'll say that's a pretty nice weld. So for connecting, I have two options. One is these types of clips here. That's a four pin for a 3S. Or my second option is these T connectors. I have an RC car that uses these connector. Just like that. But for me to use this, I also need to use this extra wire for charging. There are some devices out there that uses these kind of like the previous battery that I built it uses these for charge and discharge but for this build I will be using these in order for me to use this I'll have to reconnect everything from here 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 and here with these four wire so I'm gonna be measuring everything cutting everything from this link here so that everything is even out Okay, now that we got the wire, I'll be checking to see if we wire correctly. The first one, there we go, 3.56. Next one, 7.12 and 10.68. Let's go. Positive P, negative P. Look at that, 10.68. So there are two types. And for battery, it's this one. This one is for like the motor and stuff like that. But for battery, it's this one. The standing one here is the most difficult one to do. I almost forgot to put this on. Backward like this. Don't touch this to wire. Okay, now we are ready. There we go. And 
Just put the cover on. <laughs> wow, that actually works. And look at that. One more check. Boom. Okay, so this is pretty much done. We got the output. We got the charger. Now I just need to clean this up and then wrap it in this PVC. It might seem like that I'm using way too much kept on tape, but I just want to make it as the best I can and make it as safe as possible. Now everything is completely covered and kept on tape, so there will be no chance for this battery pack too short. Now that I got this battery built, I'm going to be charging with this LiPro balance charger. Okay, we're going to be selecting LiPo. We'll just leave it at 1A. And we're going to be doing 11.1V, which is a 3S. Now I'm going to be connecting this to the correct spot. This to this T connector here. Then click start. Check in the battery. This is R3S, S3S, which is the same, a 3S battery. So let's click confirm. Now it's charging, look at that. 10.6 volt, so it's good up. Everything is working perfectly fine. Nothing to worry about. Wow, that is nice. So I'm just gonna measure it. There we go. Go. Okay, let's go and heat shrink this. There we go, not bad at all. Now let's pack it this way. I think that looks pretty nice. Let's go and put a label on it. There we go, a finished battery. We got the battery built right here. It's all finished and ready to go to be used. So if you are interested in these batteries, I'll leave a link down below and use this coupon code FIRST10 to get 10% off on your first purchase. That'll be it for this video of me building this 3S battery pack. So if you still have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel. And as always, keep on 3D printing. But before you leave, if you are in need of lithium ion batteries, check out my store right here, it's scratch3dbattery.store. You can choose from various type of connectors, T-plug with a balanced charger, or just a simple JST-SM plug, or if you need XT60 or XT30, it's also available with a balanced charger. You can choose from various type of battery pack and connectors that suits your needs. So once again, if you need high quality, lithium ion battery pack check out my store scratch 3d battery store there will be a link in the description down below and thank you so much